normals in general that work could lead out to... Well, I guess Charizard can actually really benefit from it. And we're actually starting with Charizard. All right, going for the dash attack um, after the forward throw. It can, it's not true, but it could get you sometimes if you're not prepared for it. Good punish with the down tilt. Pikachu starting with his bread and butter, and Charizard's really deceptible to that. All right. So, so far, blue team has the stage control right now. It's, it could be because Charizard is, like, not trying to, um, is not actually helping his partner. All right. Now the tables have changed. Yeah, it's really hard to punish Pikachu out of this back here. You're, you're most likely just going to have to hold that. It, that was a very dangerous life trap, and we're getting the SD of this first match. Not not really a good way to start, of course. And he's getting punished out of the with the parry, which is really good stuff. He's probably getting lightning loop, but it's actually going to drop it. Not reading the DI correctly. Got stickied. Yep, nope. You have, to, you have to react to like when Snake says now. Using his own partner as a meat shield, but they're both going to get hit. Could be something for a green team. Or yellow team. Damn, I'm colorblind. Good down air on, on the um, Cypher. Taking the first, first hog. And I heard a sticky again. I believe it's after like six seconds that the C4 drops. All right. Each team is um, trying to ledge trap each other, but you got Sticky and get back throw to um, Cypher. I mean, no, C4. Nice back air. The, a little help from the blue team to kill the blue team. Nice up tilt. All right, trying to ledge trap um, edge guard Charizard, but it's not going to get it. I'm surprised that he has not switched at all. I guess he really is a solo Charizard. Nice forward throw. Going to take the first lock. And I just realized that... Charizard is on his second stock left. Oh, trying to get sneak, get sneaky with the back air. Back door trying to set up an edge guard, but you really can't edge guard snake at Charizard. But hey, he's gonna catch his landing right there. Gonna have, blue team's gonna have to um, share stocks. Now, what from what started to be a pretty uh, sketchy for the green? Um, okay, as I say that. All right, Pikachu trying to come back to the stage, and it's going to make it back and try to go aggressive against um, the regular getup. Not going to get it, and... Oh, is that it? Yes, that's it. Yep, C4. Nikita, you're going to have to hold that. Um, you only had to recover... Was forced to recover low, and... Snake was aware of that. All right, so game one going into blue team, and... <laughs> giggles, giggles. So, what are we going to ban right here? FD and Yoshi's story. Hmm, where would I go from with this? I would actually pick FD. Oh, wait, no, they got banned. Duh. Maybe they're going to run it back, probably. Okay, we're going to go to Town and City. Probably um, they wanted more room because, you know, Charizard is really, really big. So maybe you, he wants to be able to use that um, speed. And Charizard is really, really fast, surprisingly, compared to um, the other Pokemons. All right, so game two, blue team is, is up in the first game. <laughs> Mr. Up going a little aggressive, getting a the sweet spot forward. So, oh gosh, that rocket launcher was a little scary. Look at the charge that's not going to drop shield. And good, good assist from uh, Rathlund right there. I mean, Hugh. All right, he's going to get the up finally. He wasn't able to get those um, pretty much in the first game. But hey, it's a good start for damage. T4 is actually going to hit him right below. Hmm. That is something, um, something I noticed about this team. Is that um, Snake 
is almost allowed to just recover high. And he really shows how to focus the catch on lightnings, but due to the nature of doubles, uh, is Pikachu is decently fast and it's a great projectile that he can able he's able to cover the landings. Alright, we're playing we're mainly playing what we want and that thunder um, through that hasty jump trying to recover back or hit him. It's gonna take it. And Mr. L is gonna take both of the team stocks each. I'm really liking the fence play whenever um, the other team has to respawn. Ah, uh, this is going to get hit by the sweet spot in there out of shield, and it's going to lose his stock first. You see, man, when you're Charizard, you don't, you don't want to be team combo a lot because you're heavy and every, you're big. It's really brutal. So yeah, I have not seen any Squirtle at all. Squirtle's pretty good in teams, also. All right, where's the less trap? Not gonna get it, but um, Charizard's actually gonna get the grab on Snake, and now he has to recover low. Not gonna get the Cypher. Oh, good less trap. Back air, not gonna recover high, actually. Yep, that's it, you got hit. Well, you didn't get hit, your Cypher did. Alright, gonna get interrupted by grenades from trying to get that up here. Oh, back on the platform. We're gonna we're gonna change this around. Back here, off stage. Snake is trying to let trap young Link. And he's gonna get it. Didn't get the tag. How unfortunate. And meanwhile on the other one, we got an SD from Mr. L. Alright, saying that um, there's, there's only so many explosives going around so towards you, and we got Young Link spawn that can lead to a lot of combos also. Forward throw. You know, man, that back air just has the one of the ODS hitboxes I ever seen on a tail. But yeah, good stuff from Yellow Team. Gun actually going to make this even. And remember, we're running a best of three right now. So. What are we banning, man? Alright, we're gonna ban Smashville. Smashville could be a little crammed when you're going when you're playing doubles. Especially, and also in a um, FD. But it's actually not gonna ban it. Probably not for the same reason. Okay. Nah, I remember. They actually banned F um, Blue Team actually banned FD in the last game, so it's pretty smart to um, remember what your um, opponent bans, and then just ban the things that you, you preferably don't want. All right, we're gonna go to battlefield. All right, no switches from here. Or ever, each team feels confident enough to go with what they have. Now, if you were to ask me, I can't really tell who actually like has the advantage advantage here, because it, it was pretty um back and forth. We also got, we also have some SDs here and there. So maybe um if Mr. L was able to like prevent that, he will be able to blue team will be able to win. But so far, blue team is not looking good right now. But as Pikachu gets his uh, back airs off stage, it's not really going to do much because, like, as long as you don't use your jump, you're not going to get him. Door smash? Nope. Sank recovering high. Not much you can do about it. And but catches landings, and that's what we're seeing here. You see, they, they are respecting the fact that um, Snake can re recover high, and they have to respect it. But it's not that hard to um, get Snake on his landing. That forward smash is really disjointed. It could really hit you from afar, especially when you're on shield. You're going to have to respect it on shield. Yeah, so far, as far as teams go, I, I, like, each team is pretty good at handling each one, each, each, each other. And that's pretty good. 
But I would like to see more um, team interaction. Like, hey, if, if you're getting hit, I got your back. Or if someone's pressuring the other on the ledge, the, the teammate can actually cover for them. Because that's really helpful in dubs. All right, good recovery from Hugh. Gonna make it back, and now Young Link is off stage, and what's he gonna do? Hmm. I'm not sure what Tony was going for with that. Um, for this match, I, I probably thought he would go um, for Young Link. Probably wasn't paying attention, but now you're gonna lose it up. Socked it off smash, and another up smash from Snake is... Woo. Okay, now we're in even stock. This is still a lead for Yellow Team. Trying to catch Pikachu with the Vine Whip, but not gonna get it. He's just gonna go switch back to Charizard. All right, good reaction to the get up. Now an air, not fully connected, but it's actually gonna get the final hit. You know, the one that matters. Oh, you got sticky. You got it. You really got to If Snake is literally shirking you and he doesn't not have C4 yet, he's gonna try to sticky you. All right, back here. Is that gonna kill? No, Snake is really heavy. Yeah, watch out for that house smash. It was a really bad choice to just go for that timing on the regular getup. Pikachu trying to edge guard Charizard again. Yep, you see, that's what I like to see. Tony um, actually cover punishing uh, Hugh for that. Ooh, that's a really bad flare boost. It was the first time he actually did it. But apparently the mix-up is not going to actually work out. P P uh, Mr. Elbow's prepared to punish that. That back air was taking forever to come. Ooh! Okay, that was really close. He was dead if he got hit by that lightning. By that thunder. And now Snake is on his final stock also. And Pikachu's a little bit in, in the red right now. So is Charizard, but Charizard's heavier. Oh, He was so ready for that jump. Good, good chase. Gonna reset the situation. Parry up to very good from Tony. And since uh, Mr. L was keeping uh, Rafa busy, he really couldn't cover him. That is that it? Come on, yeah. Please get that. Yeah, Pineska. Blue team did a great job. Huh, funny enough, no SDs. All right, good stuff from Mr. L and Tony. I gotta say that um, what Tony did to uh, Hugh was really great. Um, he really took advantage of the fact that Charizard was really huge. He doesn't have a lot of options on such a small platform that isn't like really telegraphed and obvious. And he was aware that get up attack was coming, so he parried it and then got the up tilt.